These are the wishes of my birthday. Stop! Dear skin, please flow. Dear cash, please flow. My friends go out to the club. Everyone, oh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. It's been very crazy since the last time I was on here. Um, but today I'll be doing an update Q&A. So I thought I'd just put on some makeup while I was talking, chatting with you guys. I just finished some schoolwork, my first day of online classes, which I will discuss. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Let me just talk about college. Um, I don't know how, but we are all still confused as to what I do in college. Um, I talk about college a lot, so if you're not up to date, please follow me on Instagram at LisaXFan and follow along in whatever videos I upload because I always talk about almost the same things. And so I just want to reiterate what is going on. So I am a first year at Northeastern University located in Boston, Massachusetts, and I was admitted to their NUN program, which is um, a global experience program that they have for freshmen during the first semester. They send students abroad, and I went to London for my first semester. So I was in London last semester, just one semester, and I moved home and um, my second semester was at their home campus in Boston. Um, I study business entrepreneurship at the Demore McKim School of Business. Um, at Northeastern, you major in business and you have concentrations. And my single and only current concentration is entrepreneurship, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just a first year and I'm just taking basically all the intro required courses for all business students. So I'm currently in financial accounting, macroeconomics, intro to business, and international business. A lot of you guys didn't even know that I was in Boston these past two and a half months. Um, but yeah, since Northeastern is located in Boston, Massachusetts, that's where I technically go to school. Um, but yeah, if you guys know anything about Northeastern, Northeastern has a lot of um, global experience programs. So students are pretty much everywhere all the time. They have a lot of international students. We have a lot of study abroad and we have the co-op program. So yeah, um, if you guys ever are confused as to why I'm everywhere all the time, it's because Northeastern's a very cool, interesting environment where everyone's doing something completely different. And that's why I was in London last semester and then I was in Boston and now I'm home because of the coronavirus. So yeah, in terms of the coronavirus, Northeastern University and pretty much all Boston colleges because there's so many universities or schools in the city and Cambridge, of course, all of them pretty much canceled um, the rest of the school year. Everyone had to move off campus and we have moved to remote slash online schooling. So I just had my first day of classes online via whatever mode or medium my, par uh, my parents, my professors wanted to use. So yeah, I'm currently still going through that process of adjusting. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on how I do all that. A lot of you guys also asked how I keep motivated with all the online stuff going on, which I don't know the answer to yet because I have not really fully experienced it all. So yeah, once I get the swing of things this week, I'll probably do a week in my life of quarantine slash online classes for the first time as a student who signed up for in real life ca college campus vibes. You know, I see a lot of other YouTubers and memes going around about how a lot of other people have done online school before and now we're all getting to experience it. Like the one difference is that we didn't choose to experience this. Our choice was a traditional on campus type of vibe and we function that way. And so this is really different for a lot of us who choose to study on campus in a classroom setting. I know online schooling isn't for everyone. It's definitely not for me. So adjusting is going to be very, very hard for me, honestly. I can't focus at home. And so during high school, if I had to do work, I'd leave my house and go to like Starbucks or something. But since I'm in quarantine, nothing's open. I can't do that. So I'm going to figure out a daily routine for me to be more productive at home. And I will be sharing that with you guys very soon. I wish I got to do a week in my life in Boston, but I never got the chance. I was always super, super busy with all of classes and extracurriculars so um yeah i regret that i regret not being able to film a dorm tour but i literally moved out within three days notice and now i'm back home i still have boxes in the corner over there that i have not unpacked like my life is pretty much a mess and i still have club activities going classes are running up again and so i just need a chance to recuperate and adjust to my new schedule so yeah, I hope those are all of the answers you were looking for in terms of school. But um, a lot of you guys also asked about business related questions like is the business major hard and things like that. I think I think it definitely depends on your year and where you go to school. The running joke and stereotype for business students is that we don't do anything that we nap all day, which I definitely know some students who participate in that type of life. But um, I think school has gotten harder for me through the years in high school, middle school, 
all of my life school has been super easy but now in a different setting where I have to keep myself accountable and be more independent it is hard to keep track of a lot of things especially if you pile on a lot of things for yourself like I like to challenge myself so I have a lot of outside things going on that um, kind of coincide with my major of business like um, and still running on YouTube and things like that it's a busy busy lifestyle but not as hard as it would be if I took on a science major or tech related field um, that's definitely a lot more work in my opinion um, and a lot more logistical type of work and schooling but for business school it's a lot of a lot a lot of it has to do with your prior mindset I feel like to be a business student you already have to have a certain business mindset you already have to want it and love it and have the urge to do the basic business school thing make a difference and make a ton of money so that's the vibe you get from business school if you were wondering um, and it can be easy if you make it to be um, if you put in the work during class and things like that you'll make your weekend super free for sure and you'll have a lot more time compared to someone who's coding all day or doing a bunch of labs like you won't have four hour labs and things like that you'll just have lectures and intro courses and a lot of team projects business school already is a lot of team effort so like you'll be put into teams to do group projects all the time and you have to schedule um, meetings outside of class for that so if you're in high school and wondering what I'd be doing currently in my first year that's that's what's happening and I'm currently trying to figure out how I'm gonna do all my group projects online <laughs> so and a lot of you guys also asked if I were to minor anything or switch um, I actually really enjoyed history in high school and so I think if I were to study anything else in my next few years of schooling I'd probably try um, history classes or philosophy or education schooling stuff like that I really like teaching so yeah those are my other interests if you were wondering <laughs> continuing with school and moving and everything a lot of guys ask where I'm living now currently and I am back home in Maryland I'll be here for the rest of the semester if I don't if I mean I think so because of the coronavirus but yeah I am quarantining myself for two weeks at my house not seeing any of my older family members and things like that some of you guys are asking about co-op at Northeastern um, I'm sure a lot of you guys applied or are asking because you're thinking about Northeastern but co-op is a path of education that some colleges take on I don't know the other ones but Northeastern does it and you basically go in a cycle of six months so six months of schooling and then you have six months of working uh, and you alternate you people at Northeastern usually to do two to three co-ops you can only do one if you want to but I'm doing two and I'm doing the spring cycle from January to June right June yep um, and that is the spring cycle I'm gonna be working for those six months and you can take a class or two online during your co-op but for the most part it's just working full-time at a job that you find through your school or you find your own and kind of integrate it into the co-op program at Northeastern um, and then you go back back to school for six months and then you do another cycle um, in the spring again or the fall there's two cycles and you can choose there's a lot of different companies you can work for you can work in Boston you can work internationally you can work within other cities in the US it's a lot of cool options and it just builds your resume, builds your experience in whatever field you want to do. Um, uh, for me, I mean, I'd be open to doing anything, honestly, working in any industry, tapping into marketing or management or venture capital like it could be anything like I'm super excited to um, work on like my applications and start the process of co-op because I will be on co-op in about a year so that's pretty insane a lot of you guys asked for a personal update in terms of how I'm doing mentally my relationship status and like things like that how first semester went how second semester is I am doing very well as you guys know after first semester I was the happiest I've ever been going abroad my first semester and finally being out of my hometown did a lot for me and separating myself from people who were toxic in my life who were not good for me anymore I love college I love my new friends um, I loved London and I miss it so so much I know you guys know that I always talk about it on my Instagram stories um, but yeah I absolutely love London London I do not regret that decision at all coming to Northeastern and doing the NUN program so I'm super happy right now. I'm really content with life. I mean, there's always hurdles and struggles and obstacles that come in the way when it comes to school and comparing yourself to others. Um, it's always competitive life out there. So I can't say my life is perfect, but it definitely is a lot better since high school and since you guys last saw me. So yeah, um, it's been crazy. A whole 180 in the past year, literally so freaking amazing. All of my current best friends, I love them so, so much and I cannot imagine my life without them. Like I see them at my future like fucking like I don't know like company launch I will 
be there. I'm gonna have like crazy, I'm gonna organize crazy bachelor par parties for my girlfriends and I don't even know, like that's what I see. And so I'm super happy um, and they're my bestest friends. So as for my relationship status, um, a lot of you guys are still confused as to what's going on. So I am no longer with whomever you guys saw on this channel previously and the person I was with throughout high school for basically two years. Like I'm not with that person anymore. I'm not gonna to say who and everything like that. Like I'm not gonna get into it, but that has been long over. Like it was just not a thing. It hasn't been my life. Um, it hasn't been a thing in my life for a really long time now for pretty much all of my college past year school year so and I am in a different new relationship now that I'm super happy and content in so yeah that in a nutshell yeah I'm not with my ex um, whom I've shared my social media with before um, but yeah I'm currently seeing someone else and I'm happy and content so I hope you guys can just settle with that answer I'm not gonna get too much into my personal life um, a lot of you guys also asked how I am coping with the current situation coronavirus and discussing that a little bit um, I'm not a health professional I'm not WHO I'm not CDC so I'm not gonna say anything um, in that nature but in terms of my personal life yeah it has forced me to move home um, and be more cautious about the people I'm around um, um, and of course practicing a good hygienic habits to make sure there's nothing going around my household um, but I am sad a bit because I am a student and college is my life um, has become my life and I love that lifestyle so so much going living on campus and I love my friends that I see every single day um, I already missed them and it's only been like three days and it's been insane like I thought I was gonna spend the rest of the semester there when I got back from spring break I was so settled and so much has changed in the past week where I went from like saying I will be staying on campus even if they go online because they said they were an open campus they're gonna leave it there but um, then they emailed and gave us three days notice for leaving um, by Tuesday so yeah it has been crazy and i'm super sad that i won't be with my friends for the less for the rest of the semester um and i it kind of sucks taking classes online because it's not what i signed up for but um i know there's bigger problems in the world and i'm trying to keep that in mind when i'm thinking about how much i'd rather be somewhere else you know like this is all for health concerns and things like that and so i appreciate northeastern taking um taking action and doing what is best for the community and campus so and i honestly just feel bad for the businesses who run um and the family-owned businesses and the small businesses who rely on customers for income and who won't be getting it my heart breaks for that type of situation because that's my family my family has family-owned nail salons and so if they are forced to shut down nail salons my parents won't be working and so there's no income running in for the next month and like that affects their employees who are not as fortunate to own nail salons they just work off commission and so um yeah my heart goes out there for anyone going through that and for families who are suffering right now because of coronavirus um and also thinking about the victims of coronavirus um i uh, I have not been affected personally but yeah this whole situation is crazy and I honestly I want to advocate for social distancing and things like that but I can't help but think about families who cannot work right now um, and working from home is not an option because they don't work in corporate or an office setting like it's not like everyone's an online creator so yeah it's insane it's honestly crazy and I don't know when it will last and so I was crying so hard when I said bye to my friends um, because I wouldn't know when I'd see them next time and so and I also feel so, so bad for my seniors, especially my seniors at Northeastern who have spent four or even five years on campus and now they won't get a real um, graduation or live out the last few months of their senior year on campus, which breaks my heart and canceling prom and things like that. That's super, super sad. And I feel for you guys as well. Um, there's a lot of problems in the world, so um, I don't want to like uh, lighten anything, but yeah it's a lot to take in and a lot to think about i try not to because then i get a headache so yeah and i'm also not doing my eyebrows right now when i should have been <laughs> okay so i have done my eyebrows and we're pretty much done with my everyday makeup look super natural i just didn't want to be sitting here answering a bunch of questions about doing anything you know visual so um i'm just throwing on a little bit of like lip gloss this is the dior glow oil it's so good it's so like 
hydrating i love it yeah those were pretty much all of the big questions you guys wanted me to answer <laughs> so thank you guys so so much for submitting them on instagram if you guys want to participate in the next life update q a or whatever type of situation like this be sure to follow me on instagram at lisa x fan i also recently made a tiktok with the same username so follow me on tiktok at lisa x fan i've been making really random tiktoks you can laugh at me if you want i'm laughing at myself too so yeah um that is all for today's video i hope you guys um got a clear view on what's going on in my life um hopefully nothing too confusing again i'm sorry for not like updating you guys frequently on stories and things like that i know it can get a little confusing with my sudden spurs of updates of me moving to a random place all the time so yeah stay tuned for my next video coming very very soon um and that is all for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching i love you next day you forgot that i told you that this my niece play my role what you hold little boy best on reach your shit dirt you get curved i just saw and reap with that ease hella clean rips all on your knees that's that work when you hurt my head full of steam i got lucid dreams i make movie scenes